On this video, I'm going to show you how to make this cute, cute, cute little bow tie garland. I don't know if that's the right way, way to say that word. Garland. It is winter time. It is cold, which means I have a cold. It also means that it is time to make some Christmas decorations. <coughs> I saw something at a store the other day and I figured that would be really cute if it was crocheted. Um, it's actually super simple. You just have to learn how to make one of these, make a bunch of them, make as many as you want, and then put them together. So let me show you how to do this and let's get to it. For this project, I'm gonna be using I'm gonna be using these four colors. You can choose different colors, you can choose as many colors as you want, as few as you want, but these are the colors that I'm gonna be working with. To show you one of the little bow ties, we are going to use this green. We are going to grab your five and a half millimeter hook. As per usual, my dog bit it, but I'm using a five and a half millimeter hook. You're gonna start with a slip stitch and you are going to chain 50. Okay, so this is my chain 50. Um, and I kind of actually want to show you what it, what the bow tie looks like finish. I mean, this is the bow tie. It's, I guess I'll put it against my hand so you can see how big it is. It's very small. If you wanted bigger bow ties, you got to chain more. If you want smaller bow ties, um, you're going to want to chain less, but this is the size of my bow tie against my hand. So now back to your chain 50 here. So this is going to be the front of your chain and this is the back of your chain. So we're going to be working onto the back of our chains, which is, which are these like little bumps in the back, these little bumps, and we are going to uh, work slip stitches into them. We're going to skip the first one onto the second one back. The, this is the front of the chain. This is the back. Onto the second one, we're going to put in a slip stitch. So you go under those bumps there and you're going to make a slip stitch. You're going to do that again for every single chain. So go through the back, do a slip stitch. Go through the back. It can be a little tight sometimes. That's okay. Slip stitch. Go through the back, slip stitch, go through the back, slip stitch. I'm gonna do a couple more and show you what this is gonna look like. Slip stitch. Okay, so basically what you're doing is widening the chain so you can see that it's, it's getting a little bit more structure versus just the regular chain. So you're gonna do this all the way back to the end and I will see you there. Always prepared, you never know who shows up around the corner. Okay, I have finished slip stitching and every stitch on the way back. So now this is a cool looking, really thick um, kind of rope. So at the last stitch, I'm just going to do a chain one to secure my stitches and I'm going to cut them off, pull through. So now that this is done, um, I'm going to cut a small piece of yarn. I haven't really measured it, but enough that you go around um, to basically create, let me show you, to basically create this. Um, so we want to now make the bow tie kind of with our hands here. Okay, so what we're gonna do is essentially find where you want the middle to be the middle of your rope and now fold it like to create the first little tie and then hold it with your hand with your fingers like this and then with the other one go the other way so now you have them positioned and they're kind of intertwined and now you're going to grab your yarn leaving a tail because you're going to thread it afterwards uh, grab it all again pushing down and now just wrap this around as many times as you want. Um, I think I've wrapped it right now like five times, six, uh, here, six, 
seven. I think that's, I like, I want it to be like a little thick. And now I'm going to bring it to the back of it and just create a knot. Just make a knot, one and two, to secure it. There we go. And now basically I'm just gonna thread all these ends through the, through the chain to kind of hide them. We finish this, right? You're gonna wanna attach it to one of your bows as you go so that they intertwine and create that, that look. So to make this bow, first of all, we, we connect it to our previous bow, fold this like this, and this one. So this is kind of the middle point, by the way. Kind of just guessing where the middle point would be. And now bringing this this way so that I can add now the, the middle, which basically you just need some yarn for it long enough that you can wrap it around a few times and so now that this is twisted like this kind of looks like a pretzel um, if you need to adjust a little bit go for it so that your your ends are the same length so you're going to grab that together and wrap this i leave an end here a little long so that i can actually sew it through afterwards and then wrap this several times. Let's see. Two, three, four, five, six. Now, I'm not loving that that is going through here, so I'm actually just gonna bring it to the back there. There we go. So I've wrapped this around a few times. I'm gonna do one more. And now this is basically the back of them. So I'm just gonna create a knot here in the back. One, two, to secure it. And I'm going to have to thread these through. So the very first bow that you make, you don't really have to attach anything. You basically just add the yarn, the knot, and then thread through. But every single bow after this, so that they're connected um, after making the chain and the slip stitches, you're gonna wanna add it, like for example, this next bow that I'm gonna make, which is gonna be pink, I'm gonna wanna add it through here and do the same process I just did, so that in the end, I have a beautiful long um, chain or garland of these bow ties, and they're all connected. I've done um, seven right now. Some of them are a little twisted, so I'm gonna have to fix them. I've got the last one to go, so I wanted to do this one with you guys. This is the front, so I'm just gonna pull this through. And the more you make, the more kind of like, um, the more you get what you are supposed to be doing. Um, so here, and now I'm gonna twist this one this way and cross it over for a cute little pretzel and do this. And this is our last one. Let me actually put that, push that to the back. Show you what the last one looks like. I obviously have to thread the ends over there, but this is so cute. I feel like it'd be super nice in like a girl's, like a little girl's room. It's kind of Christmassy, but the colors I chose are not really. I'm gonna untangle and like make it look pretty and put it, um, I think I'm gonna put it in my studio I don't know if that's going to be the final place where it's going to go, but um, I'll show you what it looks like on a space.